Hello, my name is Steve Weber, Global MSP Sales Engineer here at Sophos. Today we're going to talk about the Sophos Central Partner Dashboard Global Templates. What are global templates? A global template allows you to lock down the global settings and base policies in Central Admin. More specifically, in the global settings, global exclusions, allowed applications, and website management. In the base policies, this locks down and overrides the base policy for those in endpoint protection, server protection, excluding DLP for both, and device encryption and email gateway. So now let's take a look at how this works and how you would apply these policies in the Sophos Central Partner Dashboard and how they affect the Sophos Central Admin Dashboard for your customer. We're gonna start here at the Sophos Central Partner Dashboard. Here's where you would go to access your Sophos Central customers. And through there, we can then find our test customer in this case, which is gonna be my Steve Weber lab. And we can then launch into that particular customer's Sophos Central admin. Now I already have this up at the top pane here. So we're gonna click over into this particular customer. We can see this is my Steve Weber lab here. And we're gonna come into global settings. So taking a look at the first section here that global templates are gonna control. Remember that's website management, global exclusions, and allowed applications. Starting from the top, we're gonna to take a look at the website management, what's currently existing here for this particular customer. You can see we have an existing domain.com. If we come back to our settings, take a look at the global exclusions. Again, you can see that there's an existing exclusion inside of here that's already been added to this. The last section is gonna be the allowed applications. And again, here's our app with the existing app that's on there. The reason we're pointing this out is when we're taking a look at the global settings and what's going to be applied, anything that's pre-existing inside of here will remain inside of your settings. Now, this does not pertain to the base policies. If we come into our endpoint protection and we take a look at our policies and take a look at our base policy for threat protection, come into our settings, all of the settings that are inside of here and any per policy exclusions that you may have set in here will be overwritten by the global template. So this is very important. Any settings you have in here will be overwritten. On the global settings, they'll just be locked down and added to. On base policies, they will be overridden. So let's see what that'll look like. We'll go over to our Sofo Central Partner Dashboard. From here, we're gonna to go to Settings and Policies, and then to our Global Templates. Global Templates are going to be where all of your templates can be for all of your customers. You are not limited to one template. Uh, you are gonna be limited to one template per customer, but you can have multiple templates for different sets of customers. We're gonna take a look at the Steve's template here. Inside, you can see that I have my Steve Weber Lab 2 and 3, but that the Steve Weber Lab is not part of this. From here, we can edit this policy. We can clone it if we want to take all the settings from this and apply it to a new template or simply delete this template from here. We also have some information on here as far as the template's name, description, the last time this was pushed out to the customers in this template, and if there are any changes to push out to these customers. As you can see, there are existing changes that do need to be pushed out to these particular customers. Taking a look at this, this is gonna represent what we saw inside of the central admin global settings. You can see here we have the allowed applications, global exclusions, and website management. Taking a look at what's inside of here, we have our allowed application, which is going to be the global template file exe, which has been added here. In our global exclusions, we have a added new, new exe that has been excluded from this here. And under our website management, we have our globaltemplates.com. The reason this is important, again, we are going to see that these are going to be added to the existing exclusions, website management, and allowed applications inside of that customer's Sophos Central admin. When we take a look at the base policies, these are gonna be the base policies that are gonna to apply to that particular customer. These will override the base policies on that customer's central admin account. Inside of our threat protection, this is gonna look very similar to what you have inside the actual customer's central admin account. If you have any exclusions inside of here per policy exclusions, 
those will be added if there is nothing inside of here. Again, we saw that we had that will be overridden exe inside of here. That will be overridden and deleted from this base policy. So let's see how that works. We're gonna actually go ahead and apply my Steve Weber Lab customer to this template. What we do here is we're gonna edit the customers. And from the list here, we can go ahead and search for my Steve Weber Lab account. We're simply going to check that account move it over into the assigned customers and save. At this point, it is not actually gonna be pushed out to that particular customer just yet. You'll notice that the push status on here does not have a green check. At this point, we need to go ahead and select push to customers. Once we do this, we're gonna be prompted that we are gonna be pushing the global templates to the assigned customers and no further changes can be made to this, these customers until this is done. So now while this is in progress, we're gonna go ahead and refresh the screen. It should only take a few seconds to run through. And once this is done, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the actual customer itself and see what has been applied. So we can see here, everything is successfully pushed out to this customer. If we come back over to my Steve Weber lab account here, we're gonna go back to our overview and we're simply going to refresh this account. We wanna make sure we have the latest and greatest information here come into my global settings. Now, initially you're gonna notice that we have three locks on those different settings that we were modifying. Website management has a lock on it, global exclusions, and our allowed applications. If we take a look at the website management, that existing domain is still here. That globaltemplates.com was added to it. No other changes from the SOFO Central Admin Console can be made. It'll tell you right here at the top that these are being managed by the SOFO Central partner. You'll notice that these are also grayed out. You cannot delete or add any additional websites from this console itself. Going back and taking a look at the global exclusions, again, same thing, global exclusions are locked down. No additional changes can be made from the central admin account. Our existing exe file exclusion is still here and our new exclusion has been added. The same thing goes for our loud application. Again, you'll notice a theme here. We are letting you know that these sections cannot be changed. Our existing file is still there and the new application has been added as well. Going over to the endpoint protection, under our policies and taking a look at the base policies, You'll notice that the base policy for each of these will now have a lock. Base policy for threat protection, peripheral control, application control, and as previously mentioned, DLP will not be locked down. DLP cannot be controlled from a global template. It is going to be a per customer DLP policy that has to be done from their central admin. This applies both to endpoint and to server protection. Every other base policy will have a lock on it. Taking a look at our threat protection, again, you will notice that you'll have the lock at the top, letting you know that there's no additional changes that can be made to this policy locally. If we actually scroll down, we can see all those policies are grayed out. And that policy exclusion that we had in here that was listed as will be overridden is now gone. Again, base policies get overridden. The global settings will lock down what's currently inside of there and simply add to. However, base policies will override what is inside of the current base policy on that customer. So make sure that if you have any per policy exclusions inside of your base policies, if you have anything set up in a particular way in your base policy, that will be overridden. There is no restore, there is no backup to this. Whatever settings are pushed out to there, these are the current settings that are going to be pushed to that customer. Now, if we did have for some reason need to take this customer out of the global template, we need to be able to modify this locally. We can go back into our central partner dashboard. We can edit the customer for the Steve's template and we can now remove the Steve Weber lab customer. Once we remove this from that template and hit save, you'll notice that it'll say that this is being unassigned from the customer Steve Weber lab. The customer will keep the last settings that were pushed to them. All of the exclusions, 
all of the websites, the applications, and the base policies that were set on there will be kept in that account. They will simply be unlocked. We're gonna go ahead and assign this. This will take a few seconds for that to take effect. We'll come over to our Sophos Central Admin account. We're gonna go back to our overview. And again, we are going to refresh this page so we have the latest and greatest settings. If we take a look at our global settings, we'll now notice that the lock has been removed from website management, global exclusions, and allowed applications. All of those items will remain. Those new files that were added will remain in here, as will your existing file, but now you have control over it locally. This will now not be controlled from a global template. It is simply controlled locally from this particular uh, central admin customer. Again, under endpoint protection and in our policies, you'll notice that the lock has been removed from all of the base policies. We now have the ability to go in to these settings and make any of the changes that are needed. Again, what was in there previously will not be restored. Thank you for watching this quick video on the Sophos Central Partner Dashboard Global Templates. I hope you were able to learn how to apply these global templates to your customers.